Yo, yo, yo. I'm back again. Y'all already know it's Hip Hop Ramble. Let me talk. Right now, we're talking about BG, Mr. Live Legend himself. BG Hollywood, Mr. Juan. Mr. Get, get to mind right, you know what I'm saying? Now, BG been top of discussion ever since he came home. And right now, we got a couple haters out there trying to mix shit up. But, BG Real Fan, we all know the truth. This right here is about 1090 J and Wack 100 trying to call BG a snitch. And we all know better than that. Let's go. Yeah, so now on Christmas Day, this fat cornbread, culture vulture chasing ass white boy that want to be black, 1090 J, which I don't have a problem with. But when you come as a certain artist like BG, and I'm a big fan of BG, we all got a fucking problem. I know my fans out there got problems too when you talk about BG. On Christmas Day, you gonna call yourself dropping paperwork on BG? Out of all people? Now, you and Wack 100, y'all got problems, you feel me? This Hip Hop Ramble telling you, y'all got problems. And we all from Florida, well, me, I'm, I'm from Florida like 10 out of J. Wack 100 from California. And they, they blood and they bleeding what they got going on. And it is what it is, you feel me? But when it comes to BG, we got a problem. My man did 14 years in the feds, to be exact. It ain't snitching when you take a charge for yourself. That is not snitching. You, you tell them what you did. You ain't telling nobody else. But right now, you you, you want to try to destroy BG character and everything he built over the last few years. But the real fans know the truth. You feel me? Real people that fuck with BG know the truth. And the, the dude, 1090 Jake, he. He, he, he got some major issues going on right now. Now, BG responded to the snitch allegation and Boots the Badass responded to a whack 100 by beating his ass. Now, BG, a former hot boy, had responded to the snitch allegation. BG said in an interview with TTE Naughty, I've been paying attention to the internet and the internet's a fool. You heard me? This shit, a beast, you know the internet had defeated and two don't need to no co-sign. BG also said at first he would feel some type of way, but niggas opinion that matter have reached out to him. Well, we all know that Birdman, Lil Boots, yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of big names in the music industry. BG also said niggas is trying to use his light to bring them out of the darkness, to bring them out of the darkness. And which, I agree with that, BG be on fire. Now, my personal opinion, right along with other people's opinion, cause we all thinking the same way, 10 out of Jake is a person that like trying to dig up his work on black people, you feel me? Black people that's in the music industry. You don't see him going out digging up his work on white rappers or white people in the industry. It's always somebody that's black. You feel me? I guess that that's the that's the way for him. Cause they clout chasing. Now everybody know, everybody know that right now my BJ no snitch, but you said you found paperwork and you got a witness proving that BG is next. Now who the fuck really gonna believe that 1090 Jake? For real. I gotta leave my boy BG long before he send them hitters at you. And even now you can do it, you did. Moving on forward to Wack 100. When Boots about to get in that ass, talking about, oh Boosie, you're not with 115 pounds, you, you'll break them all of a sudden. Man, you don't sit your old ass down somewhere trying to argue with these, with these young folk, man. You too old be jumping in people's business, you know what I'm saying? Now, I understand you trying to get your views over the case may be, but sizing the wrong people would call altercation in this industry, you feel me? And I ain't knocking nobody, I hate nobody, I got no problem with nobody, I don't want no problem with nobody. But it can be what it can be, you feel me? Now, Boosie, bad ass response to Wack 100. Call Wack 100 threatened to beat Boosie ass up. And continue saying, continue saying, beat your snitch. Now everybody know, boost badass and play the kind of boosting, man. I mean, boost badass and play the kind of BG. Cause BG, once again, I'm gonna keep saying this, that motherfucker nigga, 14 years in the fed. Don't rack, don't bend, don't fold, let's go. When I was young, and we talking about BG here. So with Wack 100, bad enough 1090 Jake. Ain't them a lot of a lot clout chasing. And this what Boost Badass had to say about Wack 100. Threatening, threatening to beat his ass. Now Boost Badass say he had no op. And he ain't put no name on it. But he also dared people to, to tempt his dark side. 
He said he ain't worried about nobody. He ain't got no ops. And he don't got no ops no more. He said he in a city where everybody love him. Well, almost everybody. But he don't got no problem with nobody. And he go where he want to go because he, no, he, he don't got no problem wherever he go. So that tells you. That tells Boots is well loved and well respected. So by Wack 100 talking about he going to do something to, Lil Bo- to um, Boots badass, it's like telling the fly, tell, tell that fly, don't sell him that pile of shit. It's just not going to happen. The other thing, he don't got no up, but when he get up, it's bad for a lot of people. He said it ain't going to be a good day. He said he be everywhere by himself, enjoying his life, and be having these niggas with him most of the time. He said he don't got no ops. Life is great. Niggas don't want, me, want him to turn to a maniac. So I definitely agree with that. And in a separate IG line, Boots is defending BG while going at three finger wax stand. How the fuck a nigga gonna snitch? He done 13 to 14 years and get the fuck out here go get this money. When niggas get money, niggas go to hate. Put us all in the game. Now, Boots Badass and Wack 100, Wack 100 fuel ignited a week when the music executive called BG a rat and threatened to beat the dog shit out of him. During the clubhouse conversation earlier this week. And Wack 100 said, Why Boots are mad at me? Did he call Birdman Brother Gangster a rat based off his work? Wack said, But all at the same time, too, I don't think Gangster a rat, he just told on dead people, people that wasn't living. But I guess if you still tell on somebody if they are uh, uh, living or dead, I don't really know, but y'all, I don't really know how that works, but y'all let me know, let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Do y'all think Gangsta or Rat for, um, for, um, for telling on the dead? But anyway, Wack 100 said he'll beat the fuck out of Bootsy. He said Bootsy know him in real life. He said he weighed about 117 pounds and he will beat the dog shit out of Bootsy. And Boots was like, it is what it is. Cause BG, his nigga, he gonna defend him to the most. And everybody else said about BG 1002, you feel me? So y'all let me know in the comments. But remember to like, comment, subscribe. And remember, it's Hip Hop Ramble. Let me talk. Peace. 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 Peace.